Greetings and salutations, everyone, and welcome to Let's Play Pineview Drive. I'm Camchak Fisco. Come join me for the long overdue game of repudiation? The long overdue game of playedness. So I'll keep exploring this section of the house. <laughs> I got I've really got to remember to look out windows because there's stuff that you can see out the windows and I totally didn't know about that until I found out um, about the whole you see the girl outside which I didn't even know was a thing until I looked at the achievement after the recording session that was just like wait a minute I could see stuff through the window it never even occurred to me to look out the window which is kind of really stupid that should have occurred to me this whole not sprinting makes this so slow I'm so glad in the later games they didn't have the slow walk speed as a mechanic. I'm glad they changed that. I kind of wish they'd go back and, you know, fix it in this one, but I honestly don't ever see that happening. Because it would change the mechanic of the game, and it would probably shorten the game, to be perfectly honest. Because it takes... It takes about ten minutes to get through a day. And, uh... If we had, you know, even double walking speed, it would cut that down by, like, a third. I wouldn't say half, because events and stuff still have to unfold, but it would definitely cut down on searching the house considerably. Bow, bow, bow. That's actually a cool sound. Very unnatural. I think it's funny, but the time we unlock the other half of the house, this whole area, we don't have lights anymore, so it's like... What's the point of the light switch is that it seems arbitrary that we have all these fancy lights now, like that cool chandelier we just passed, but we can't ever turn them on. What's the point? So yeah, I keep hearing the noises, and I'm not going to lie, it's just like, what the hell is that? Because they're adding a lot of new ambient noises I didn't hear before, but after having been trained by the other ones that most noises are just there to creep you out and don't actually have anything associated with them. I have learned to not necessarily react to a lot of this because the game kind of taught me that with the others and obviously it's still very true in this one. So the fact that I played them out of order I think is why this isn't as scary as it should be because the other games had me build up an immunity where as I wouldn't have had if I just jumped into this game right off the bat. It's still fun to play. I still enjoy it. So, it detracted from me being able to be scared as much, but I still enjoy it. The fact that they made it... Whoops, wrong button. They made a deal about the Scarecrow. I wonder if we're supposed to go out and maybe there's something by the Scarecrow? Now that they're making a focal point of this? Hey, creepy dude, what the hell's up with you? Yeah, you're not weird at all. At least I don't have to use my flashlight. I can just wait for the lightning to strike to see whether or not there's, you know, like keys on objects. That's actually kind of handy. <laughs> oh, this is definitely the worst lightning strike storm that has happened since the game started. None of the other storms were this much of a light show. Holy cow. Which, I'm even if I hadn't already been exposed to a lot of sound effects, by honestly this point in the game, I would have already built up a tolerance to them. Because it would have been day after day after day after day of this stuff, and I would have realized it was nothing. So, I wouldn't have the same level of tolerance that I do now, but it definitely wouldn't be as creepy as it was the first few days. Because when you keep using the same trope to, you know, startle or unnerve somebody, it only works for so long. So I like the fact that they're adding new noises, but the fact that they keep using the old ones kind of detracts from it, to be honest. But to be fair, this was their first game. And they did learn a lot because the later games did do a much better job. So, they got better at it. And I'm more critiquing than I am criticizing, to be perfectly honest. Because they certainly, their games certainly got better after this. And I'm not saying this one is bad by any stretch of the... Well, I know where I'm supposed to go. Follow the footsteps. Hey, at least he didn't have to tell us this time. He just wandered around the house and found it. Hi, Mr. Clown. How's it going? Obviously, these are too big for your feet. Alright, so I just thought I'd go to this door, even though the lightning's not striking anymore. Um, am I going to the window? Oh, there's a key in the corner. 
May I turn around and see a jump scare? Nope. Uh, kind of surprised, honestly. The, not here. This is the pantry. I keep mixing up the first and the second floors, which is hilarious because they haven't changed. Yeah, pssst, yourself. All right, so found the door. All right. Well, that's perfectly normal masks. Sure, why not? Okay, so we can't open the chest. There's batteries over there. We got a key. We got a key. There we go. <laughs> that candle has like no wax to it left. Oh, this room interconnects to that room. So, okay, that's all one door. I can't even see the uh, dude from here. All right, so there's the node. There's no other keys in here. We did pick up the new key, but I don't know if it was to that door or not. So I'm actually going to run a circuit around, see if we can unlock any of the doors really quickly. You know what? I'm actually going to... Were there batteries in here? There were. I'm just going to reload. Not... Yeah. Reload and immediately waste them, because I'm stupid. <laughs> the old music box started playing of its own accord last night. I tried to turn it off. It just kept playing. Is that a bad thing? I mean, it would be unnerving as hell, but... Instead of taking the batteries out, you can try jamming the mechanism. Day 19. Sorry, I had to do that every time. Alright, so obviously don't touch that or it'll trigger shit. Alright, so we've got ten doors left. Our little friend hasn't gone anywhere. That's the painting room because we're on the second floor. Yes, okay, I'm finally starting to get floor one and two straight. So let's go back to the room we just unlocked, which was on the first floor. See, I wanted to say it was on the second, but it's on the first. I'm finally starting to get those straight. Alright. So it's this room. Is there anything new in the creepy mask room? Alright, I'm actually going to light the candle, because I'm not sure if we're going to end up using this room or not. That's weird. I had to get an odd angle to see it. This time there's not lightning, so there's nothing blatantly obvious leading us to, like, footsteps on the floor like last time. Well, I am in a position where I'm going to need to get... Screw it. I'll throw an extra match away and just get the matches now. Alright, so the clown's not here, so he's somewhere else in the house. Let's see if we can go find him. That gives us an objective to kill time while we're waiting for him to say something, or for us to trip over the objective. Either way, same result. Usually he's in one of the junction hallways. I'm curious if he'd ever actually be in the piano room. Nope. He's not there this time. Alright, let's go check upstairs. I'm still in such a habit of sprinting, but I bet you anything, since we know that ties into the fear effect, if they get to a day where they're ramping up the, the jump scare or startle mechanics, like the pssst and other things like that, we're going to have to like walk everywhere or it's going to screw us. I'm, I'm waiting for that. I'm just waiting for it to get that bad. But I'm betting the closer we get to day 30, the worse it's going to get. Which makes sense. Alright, that's the room we started in, so... Are you in here, buddy? He's not there. I wonder where else he can be. We didn't figure out where he was last time, either, so he could actually have been in one of the two chairs that we just saw. Because he was in the other chair before. So, we know that. Pretty sure we've done all this, but I want to double back just to see if the clown's in here or if there's a key somewhere. Alright, so this is a pantry room that has supplies, and this would be the bedroom. With the little rubber ducky. Wait, is there a door there? No, okay. I'm... It's dark, but I'm actually starting to, you know, the certain lines are making me see things. It's just like, wait, is that a door? No, I can't be a door. Nah, I'm just being silly. Uh, can't tell the mannequins the mannequin. <laughs> now I'm stuck on that word. Can't tell the scarecrow's there because the tree's in the way. Alright, no sprinting. That triggers fear. When the noise ramps up, I've got to be aware of that and, you know, try to keep an eye on my sprint speed. As in, not use. You know, nothing ever happened in the back. Ah! <laughs> That's where you went. I was wondering where you took off to. Alright, so we found him. He's in the bathroom like a jackass. I wonder if I, I moved the mouse to look at him and it cost me fear, obviously, as we can see. But I wonder if that, if we could have walked in the room, 
at an angle without actually responding to him being there if that would have given us an achievement. So it's the first time he's ever actually made noise. Whoa, hold on. Something weird just happened with my audio. Okay, I'm not sure what that was, but I'm sure you guys saw it because I think the video recorded and captured it and my volume just like dropped to zero, but I alt tab out to check windows and it was fine. It's the game. It's the game doing the noises it. Were coming from the kitchen. The game is that's cute. That is cute. That is cute. Suddenly panicked and my audio is freaking out. Uh, kitchen. You do realize there's three kitchens in this house, right, dude? Well, there's two pantries in the kitchen. Alright, so it's not the pantry, so it's gotta be one of the two kitchens. But see, the problem is there's two kitchens, dude. Um, this kitchen or the other kitchen? I'm gonna guess the other kitchen. Now I just gotta remember where the hell the other kitchen was. Um, about that. Where was the other kitchen? I don't remember where I saw the other kitchen. Shoot. I think it was on the first floor. Uh, where's the door? The door just creaked open and then disappeared from reality. What? <laughs> Hi, douche. How's it going? This isn't a kitchen. Um. Okay. This ain't a kitchen either. So now the clown's actively moving around the house. So we need to be aware of when we walk into a room, we need to make sure that we keep moving and we don't uh, move the mouse or anything because Jackass can be in there now, because he's actively moving. So we now kind of actually have a threat. This is the only other kitchen. This is one we opened recently. Um, about that. Why is there a shadow of a person being cast from the... Um, y'all are seeing this, right? Okay, sure. Uh, can I do something about that? Looking up and down isn't triggering anything. Do I need to go stand in the shadow? Um, okay. I'm not seeing a key or anything. Uh, I mean, it's creepy as hell. It really is. But what do I do about it? Well, that seemed like it actually triggered something. Rotted food. Yeah, I kind of figured that. Do I have to... Uh, and of course, it caught me right when I happened to be moving to shut the door to the fridge with the pssst. Not fair, man. That was cheap. Okay, yeah, I kind of figured if the castle, if the castle, if the candle was cast in the shadow, put the candle out. I just wanted, I wanted to make sure that we ex exhausted every other um, reaction. For that wasn't like that before, was that? The wall wasn't rotted. All right, so let's try the hallways here. Alright, so we already did this. This is the whole wraparound room. Jackass is gone. That door is like out of existence completely now. That's freaky. My personal thanks to each and every one of you for tuning in. You all are awesome viewers. Really appreciate you taking the time to watch this video. It means a lot to me and I do hope you enjoy it. You all take care of yourselves. If you want to see more of me, kill the video the list or stay tuned for more. Feel free to leave a comment below. Please remember to take that like button if you enjoyed the video. In the meantime, fare thee well, everyone.